In this video, I'll show you how to upload videos to YouTube from your iPhone and Android phones or tablets, including your custom thumbnails and how to optimize them for more views. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you grow an audience and scale your revenue with online video. If you're seeing value in this video, make sure you're giving us a thumbs up. It does make a huge difference. And all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. These days, it's easy to create and post your YouTube videos all from your smartphone. And the process is actually very similar on both iOS and Android, but there are a few little hidden settings that you definitely want to pay attention to to maximize your video quality and set your videos up right to maximize your views. There are a couple of really small differences between iOS and Android, so we'll cover these off as we go through. So there's two apps you're gonna need. The first one is the YouTube app, which is what you're gonna to use to actually do the uploading. And then you'll want the YouTube Studio app, which is where you can customize it up and add your custom thumbnails and all that fun stuff. So you wanna go ahead and open up the YouTube app first. And the first thing I'm gonna do is to check your settings to make sure that you're gonna be uploading at the highest quality possible. So you wanna come up to the little profile picture of you in the top right hand corner, come down to settings. And these are all your YouTube settings. You wanna scroll all the way down to where it says uploads. Now I strongly recommend that you are uploading your videos on Wi-Fi so that you're not burning through all your mobile data. But you wanna set here upload quality. You can see here it's set to 1080. If we select on that, we actually get the option to choose full quality, which is what I would recommend. This will mean that we're uploading the best quality video through to YouTube. So once you've got that selected, go back and then you can close out of settings again. And again, this setting is only on the iPhone or the iOS side of things. Android doesn't have this setting anymore. It's already set as default to upload at maximum quality. Okay, so now you wanna go up to the top and you wanna press on the little camera icon and you wanna go down to upload a video. Now, if you haven't uploaded from your device before, you will need to allow access and grant permissions through. So we can go okay on these. Now you wanna select your video to upload. So we're gonna go ahead and pick this one here, six minutes 54, which is one of our YouTube videos that we've already edited down. Now, if you wanna learn how to edit from your smartphone or even which are the best video editing apps on iOS and Android right now, then check out the links down in the description box below. We've got some resources there to help you. Now this next screen here that we're presented with is only on iOS. We don't get this on Android but it's really not that important. We're gonna skip it anyway. But what it is, is it'll let you trim down your video here. So if you wanna adjust the start time or the end time, you can do that here. Um, and you can also apply filters uh, to change up the look and feel of your video here. But if you've already edited your video down, you've already gone through this entire process. So we can ignore this and all we need to do is hit next in the top corner to where we're gonna enter all of our details for our video. So we're gonna go ahead and enter in our video title. So we can just tap on where it says create a title and we can type that in. Or if you've already pre-planned your video and you've already got your title and your description and everything planned out into a document ahead of time, then you can just copy and paste that information in when you're in the app. This is gonna save you a lot of time when you're actually entering all of this stuff because you've already got it pre-planned out and ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a Google document, which is where we've got all of our information here ready to go in to this video. So I'm going to select our video title here and hit copy, come back across to our title and paste that in. Exactly the same with our description. I'm gonna go back across and copy in our video description, including all of our links and everything. And I'm gonna hit copy, come back over to YouTube app where it says add a description. I'm gonna select on that and paste all of that text in there and back out of that one now. Next, we're gonna change our video upload status from public to private so that our video isn't instantly going to be released publicly. We're gonna lock it down as public so that we can go across into the YouTube Studio app and add our custom thumbnail and edit any other settings or adjustments we wanna to make to our video before it goes live. Next, you can add a location in here as well where the video was shot and where you're uploading from. This isn't really a requirement, but to add it in, you just press the plus button there. You will need to grant access if you haven't before and hit the plus again. And let's choose Malula Bar, which is where I am. And you also have the ability to add your video directly into a playlist if you've already got playlists created where this video is going to be a fit. Once you're done with those settings, you wanna hit next 
And this is where you need to answer these two questions around if your video is made for kids or not. So we're gonna select here, no, this video is not made for kids. Obviously, if your content is made for kids, then you'll need to select yes. So we're gonna go with no. And the second one here, do you wanna restrict your video to an adult audience? It says this one is optional. Uh, I'm gonna leave this as no, don't restrict my videos to viewers over 18. Obviously, select which is the fit for your content. Then you just hit upload and your video will start uploading. Now I would recommend that you're leaving your phone on and your app open while this upload is happening, just so that there's no potential issues with the video that you are uploading. Now you can see in our case here, it went straight from uploading to processing, and that's because it was actually uploading in the background because we're on Wi-Fi. And we're also on very fast Wi-Fi, so it didn't take too long to upload. So once the uploading is completed, you will then go through and process your video, and then you're able to see it in the YouTube Studio app. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the YouTube Studio app. And this is a test account that I have. There is our video listed there, is our most recent uploaded video. Now, if you're not seeing your video there on the homepage, then you can come up to the little menu button in the top left-hand corner, come down to videos, and it will be shown in there. So we've got best free video editing software. We're gonna press on that one. Now to add in our custom thumbnail, you wanna come up to the little edit button in the top right hand corner there, press on that. Then you wanna hit that little edit button in the top left hand corner of our image there on the screen to edit our thumbnail. We then wanna come down to custom thumbnail and go ahead and select your thumbnail image. So we've got our one here. We're gonna select that, that's now added to our video. Now if you'd like to learn how to create amazing looking thumbnail images from your iPhone or Android device, then check out again the links in the description. We've got a couple of videos there to help you out. Now you wanna go down to the bottom here and select add tags to add in all of your video tags here. So these could be things that are related to your video. So our video topic here, best free video editing software, we would have things like editing software. And after each one, you just press return, and that will create it as a tag. Now, we've already gone ahead and created some tags, again, that we can copy and paste in. So I'll go back across to our Google document here, grab our YouTube tags, and copy and paste those in. Copy and paste. And we've now got all of our tags entered in there. From there, you wanna come across to the advanced settings at the top there, and you can specify a category for your videos. Now we have found that the category doesn't make a huge difference overall, but pick the one that is going to be the best fit for your content. I mean, for our content, we would fit under people and blogs. We would also fit under how to and style, and we'd also fit under film and animation as well. So we're gonna leave this one as film and animation for us. Again, just pick the one that's closest for your content. You can then specify the licensing or the ownership rights of your content there with this next dropdown. So you get to choose YouTube standard license or creative commons. Now, creative commons pretty much means that other people can use your stuff as it says there with attribution. So them giving you credit for your content. We're gonna leave this as standard YouTube. And we're also gonna leave all of the rest of the things enabled there to allow comments that users can view ratings for this video and also to allow this video to be embedded on places like our website as well. Once you're happy with all of those, you just need to hit the little save button in the top right hand corner and your video settings are now saved. So now at this point, your video is all set up and ready to be released. So if you wanna release this now, then we just go back into the edit button and come down to where we set it to private and we just hit public and hit save and our video will now be released immediately. Now, if we wanna schedule this to be released at a later date or a specific date or time, then we can come down here and choose scheduled and we can select the date and time where we'd like our video to go live. All you need to do then is hit save and your video will be released at that specific time. So that's how easy it is to upload your videos to YouTube from your iPhone and Android device. And if you'd also like to learn how to create amazing looking thumbnail images for your YouTube videos from your iPhone or Android device, then check out the videos linked on screen. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.